New assets will carry some level of warranty against the defects or failures. Significant savings can be realized by maximizing the benefits of warranties. A warranty contract defines the agreement to maintain the one or more assets with the service providers for a free or a scheduled set of payments. Let's take a scenario when an asset fails. Uh, what you will do, you are going to create a work order, corrective maintenance type of the work order. If you have a warranty against that asset or location, you, you will check uh, the maximum will display that uh, in work order that asset or location has warranty. That's under the module contracts and click on warranty contracts. So uh, we are going to have a uh, new contract warranty uh, new warranty contract for the root repons so click on the new icon and give the description as a root repump root repump warranty and start date is going to be year contract for one year and renewal divert we are going to have one month before the end date the agreement we are going to have with vendor is IR and as you can see there will be some set of terms and conditions by default Maximo adds those are the these are the terms that Maximo will add by default so with respect to your contact you can modify these terms and condition uh, now we are going to have the same terms uh, let's go to the properties tab and uh, here there are some properties so our contract is going to be extendable so after one year we are going to the we are going to do the extension of this contract and uh, we will have the condition for extension it is going to be for the maintenance and extension period will be 365 days termination of uh, this contract will be the 90 days so vendor has to inform 90 days before if they have to terminate this contract and uh, customers customer termination also uh, we uh, this contract will have the customer termination and that will be 30 days from our side we have to inform the vendor before 30 days uh, for the terminating the contract so let's save this record now let's go to the contact lines for the line type as a service for the contact line and uh, this will be the rotary pump warranty and the duration of this will be for one year and the our contract is going to have the 100% coverage for the labor material tool from the vendor for the duration of one year so let's keep as it is labor material tools because this is a new contract we are having with the customer so we, we will be uh, just maintain the default values from the maximum which has given 100 percent for the labor material and tools save this record before you go to the associate assets tab you as you know we need to have we need to change the uh, status of this uh, warranty contract to the approved before we approve this warranty contract record we must authorize the sites so click on the authorize sites on the left navigation panel and uh, click on select site and add the site petford click ok give ok and this will authorize the site for the bedford and uh, now we are going to have it for the uh, yeah we are going to approve the this contract click on the change status icon on the left side panel in the drop down list select approved click ok and this will approve your status and now uh, as you can see the status w start now we can associate the assets to this warranty contract click on the select more assets and remove the status operating and refine this table and this will refine you with the, uh, the all the assets give the description rotary and filter the table and select the select all in the first page go to next page select all go to next page select all and click ok 
as, as you can see there are 25 assets which are which have been added here this completes our uh, contract between the vendor for the uh, rotary assets so the, this contract will have these all assets 25 asset so for any kind of repair or any maintenance if for any defect is found vendor has to fix the problem so this completes our chapter on the warranty contracts thank you guys thanks for listening please subscribe my channel